All right, what's going on, guys? So recently, the second best Fortnite player in the world, Ninja, has been in a little bit of controversy because of some comments that he made about Drake on stream. Now, this might be a little bit confusing to you, so let me just set up the backstory real quick. So back in March, Drake and Ninja actually decided to play Fortnite together on a live stream, and I guess you could say it went pretty well. In fact, at the time, it broke the record for most viewers by a single streamer with just over 600 thousand live viewers and just to put into perspective how crazy that number was at the time the previous record was 380,000 so it really wasn't even close he completely shattered the previous record and the numbers are important to the video because it shows how much influence Drake actually has. I mean, all Drake had to do was tweet out the link to the stream and it breaks the record for most viewership. That's pretty crazy, right? So that's kind of the backstory behind all of this. So fast forward a couple months. Recently, a couple days ago, Ninja was talking about Drake on live stream and he had a pretty interesting take on how that whole situation went down. Basically, there's two parts to the clip. I'm going to play the first one for you now. Ninja, are you buying Drake's Scorpion Jack original album? You can get your name stitched on the back. Also, pretty dope. Um, I... You know, is he going to buy, you know, my next line of Ninja merch? You know? Or my Ninja headband? Probably not. I feel like... Drake saw that I was up and coming in the gaming scene, and he thought it would be a perfect way to just tap into another source of... Of viewers by playing with me so in that clip he is implying that Drake used him for his viewers and now in the second clip he kind of realizes what he said and he tries to backpedal on it he also might have just wanted a game I'm not sure but he's a genius dude I'd love to buy it but then I feel like very fanny which I am <laughs> so yes I will be buying the jacket is basically what I'm trying to say yeah, you definitely tried, but you can't backpedal your way out of that one, man. You already said what you said. So clearly, anyone with the brain can listen to that clip and understand that Ninja is claiming that Drake used him for his viewers, right? Now, this whole thing started for me with a tweet. I, I simply saw this clip on Twitter and I had an opinion on it, so I tweeted out my opinion on it and I didn't really expect it to get that much attention to the point where Ninja himself even decided to tweet at me and apparently he thinks I'm grasping at straws. Now, I did have a response to him on Twitter, and I'm not gonna lie, I did kind of go off, all right? I didn't have to do him like that, but that's what the video's for, all right? I'm not trying to come at him personally in this video, all right? That's just for Twitter, that's just for fun, but I will say, come on, bro. Obviously, Drake is not gonna buy your fucking ninja headband. Like, are you serious right now? Come on, man, like, let's be real. So, anyways, all of that out of the way, I wanna take this time to speak directly to you, ninja. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you're going to watch this video because deep down, you know that I'm right. That's why you felt the need to respond to my tweet. Let me ask you guys a question. If my tweet had said, Ninja sucks at Fortnite, do you think he still would have responded to my tweet or would he have just ignored it? Probably ignored it, right? And why is that? Well, it's because he clearly doesn't suck at Fortnite. He's very good at Fortnite. However... If what I'm saying is true, then obviously that person is going to feel the need to step in and defend themselves, right? So, listen, you might have all these 12-year-olds fooled, okay? You might even have all these big streamers in the community scared, all right? They're not going to say anything to you. You're ninja. They're trying to get that ninja host. You think they're going to give that up? Hell no. But here's the thing, man. I'm not 12 years old, so I'm not going to fall for any of your lies. And I have no interest in using you to further my own career. In fact, I'm pretty sure you already hate me, right? Just from what I've said to you on Twitter. This video is not even out yet and you, you don't like me. That's okay though, all right? Sometimes the truth hurts. And speaking of the truth, let's get into some of these facts, okay? Number one, Drake does not need Ninja 
for anything. That is a ridiculous statement to make. Don't get me wrong, Ninja is a huge name, biggest streamer on Twitch, but we're talking about Drake here, okay? I don't know if the fame has just gotten to your head or what, Ninja, but it's not even close, and it's honestly kind of surprising the amount of people who think it is close. There are actually people out there that think Ninja and, and Drake are on similar levels, so I'm just gonna pull up some numbers here, just in case anyone was delusional enough to think that. You know, it's not the best perfect way to compare, but it gives you a pretty good idea of where the two people are at. So, Ninja has 2 million followers on Twitter. Pretty good, right? Drake has 37 million. Ninja has 7 million followers on Instagram. That's pretty crazy, man. That's a lot of followers. Drake has 43 million followers. There's levels to this shit, man, all right? And Drake is just on a completely separate level. So, please, let's stop with this nonsense that Drake needs any sort of fame or recognition or clout or anything like that from Ninja, okay? In fact, it's actually the opposite. So, let's go ahead and bring out some facts here. Here is a graph of Ninja's Twitch followers by month in 2018. Can you guys guess which month Ninja streamed with Drake? Oh, it was March, the very peak of the graph. His highest month ever on Twitch. In fact, you can see after March, his followers have actually been going down. He's on the decline. That's pretty interesting. That's probably just a coincidence, right? Let's go ahead and look at the week leading up to the Drake stream. So the Drake stream was on March 14th. So let's just get uh, an idea of where his individual day numbers were at leading up to that. So as you can see, he was averaging around 80,000 viewers, peaking at 100k on a few of the days, but definitely not consistently over 100k. Now, let's just compare those numbers to a few days later when Drake comes on the stream. 190,000 average viewers. So that's over double his average viewers and over 600,000 peak viewers. So six times his peak viewers that he was getting. And that stream to this day is still the most followers he has ever gotten in one day on Twitch. So, just so we're all clear here, let's just recap. Drake gave Ninja the most followers in one day that he has ever had in his entire career. But yet, Drake was the one using Ninja, apparently. I mean... <laughs> I just don't understand how you can say something so delusional. And now, just to make things a little bit worse than they already are, if you watch that stream, you might remember that Drake actually donated Ninja $5,000 during the stream. And it's just mind-blowing to me how someone can be this ungrateful. You know what? Ungrateful might not even be the word because not only does he not appreciate anything that Drake did for him, he actually thinks he's the one helping Drake. Listen, man, let's be real here. Facts only. You had 80,000 people in your stream. Drake tweets out your stream. You got 600,000 people in there. How can he be using you for viewers? Out of the 80,000 people that were originally in your stream, how many of them do you think have never heard of Drake before. Probably not very many. How about this? Let's go ahead and check out Drake's Twitter growth for 2018. I mean, he was using Ninja to get more followers, right? So surely March should have been his best month. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graph here. As you can see, March was actually the worst month of the entire year for Drake's Twitter. That's weird though, because I thought Drake was using Ninja to get more followers. So how come Ninja Ninja had his best month ever of his career playing with Drake, but Drake had the worst month ever playing with Ninja. I don't I don't understand. I thought Drake was using Ninja for followers. Like, where are all the followers at, bro? Imagine giving a man the best month of his whole career and on top of that giving him $5,000 of your own money just for him to turn around and say that you were using him. That's tough, man. I think we're done here. I think that's enough facts for the day. Basically, in my opinion, this is what happened here. The real ninja slipped out for a second. I don't know if everyone knows this, but 
Ninja has basically done a complete 180 on his personality over the last six months. He has completely sold out in order to make as much money as possible from these little kids. And anyone who's seen his old streams knows this. He's basically become the fakest streamer in the community. He went from being one of the most egotistical, toxic streamers ever to this family-friendly uh, PG guy or whatever who says everyone else is toxic. And I understand you're trying to squeeze as much money out of these little kids as you can while Fortnite is still the most popular game. But every once in a while, the real ninja comes out. You know, that's what happens when you create a fake personality. You know, sometimes you slip up and the real you comes out. So, you know, you may have all these little kids fooled with this whole fake family friendly persona that you've created for yourself. But at the end of the day, we all know who you really are man the truth always comes out so yeah that's pretty much it for the video man i'm interested to see how this one turns out so thank you guys so much for watching be sure to like rating if you enjoyed subscribe if you're not already follow me on twitter links in the description down below other than that have a good day and peace out i will leave you with a little clip that uh i think you might enjoy this is what we call the real ninja Super good was probably one of the best players in the game, but he's just like really toxic. Like it's like his thing. Like it's it's like it's like his persona, right? It's like be really rude, over the top, like toxic. It's, and like I met him in person. He's super. He's a super nice guy, but regardless, like that's irrelevant. I just can't have that. I, and like honestly, to be quite frank, it's it's why I'm actually not really playing with Myth that much. Like. Like, Myth just swears a lot, man, and I'm, like, a lot, a lot. Like, he says the F word, like, five times that sentence. Oh, oh two pops. <laughs> In case the first one missed, right? In case you can't hit me for 80, right? In case you can suck a fucking cock, right? Fuck you. Fuck the pump. Fuck this game, dude. The double pump shotgun can lick the fucking nastiest, most disgusting asshole ever. I'm talking Kim Kardashian, fresh out of fucking Chipotle that had sex with Qdoba, who went to Moe's, bought Moe's ingredients, fucked those with Taco Bell, and she just shat for an hour straight. Kanye comes on and is like, let me eat that. That's what everyone can eat. That fucking uses the double pump.